So Geralos sells a ton of items and almost all of them have some sort of a hidden effect or benefit that can be extremely helpful in your games. So for example the tube of glue can see camo blooms as soon as it's available which is very useful on earlier camo rounds. The giant nail mine does not pop lead blooms even though I'm showing you a video of exactly that happening. Now the interaction here is that the nails themselves do not pop lead blooms but when all of the nails are gone the mine detonates itself and the explosion is the one popping the lead bloom and not the actual nail. So be very careful with this one because you might be wasting a lot of popping power and money by doing this. The War Hero Cape is one of the coolest interactions in the game. So when you give this cape to a dark monkey, it transforms it into a super monkey. But the really cool part about this is that if we fully buff the dark monkey with the top pad village, after transforming it to a super, it will keep all of the buffs, giving you an insanely strong super monkey. And an added bonus to this is that even if you sell the village, all of the buffs will remain on the super. And there is also a very fun interaction with the sharpening stone, which is an item that gives plus one pierce. Now, even though it says to apply it to darts and blades, you can actually use the sharpening stone on middle bad snipers too. This is because their damage type is sharp. Another thing about the sharpening stone is that when Geraldo gets level 15, it gets upgraded and it now gives plus one damage in addition to plus one pierce and you can reapply it to your towers to get the damage buff going as well. So that's it for this one. A lot more things to get to so thanks for watching it and I'll see you guys in part two.